Hello everyone, it's Stooms. Today we are going to be creating a tier list for the cast members of Perfect Match Season 2. Whew, I'm so excited, dude. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. It's been a little bit of time and there's a, been a whole buzz over the show and all the contestants and the drama that they caused. And today I would just like to reflect and talk about what we learned from watching such a chaotic series of events of these wonderful, beautiful people. They really are. Now, all these people are like so overly attractive. You know what I mean? Like. They're just made in an industry plant to be created for the show. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. These shows, these reality TV shows. Well, we're just gonna dive right in and rank these folks, bro. Let's go. Let's let's go. So we got the S's, the A's, the B's, the C's, the D's, and the F's. All right, I can explain as I go along. Let's start with Alara. Now, Alara is very vibrant, fun, and. She seem, appears to be loyal. She was kind of wild, wild. and um, her connection with Stefan was quite good. It was, it was lit and I think they were the perfect match. I don't know how they came up with the winners at the end of the season because those two who did win, Christine and Nigel, were hardly couples for that long. So it's clear that Alara and Stefan were the true perfect match. I know this isn't a ranking about that, but yeah, she gets an A for being cool, and uh, yeah, great. All right, Britain. Britain. She seems she seems cool. She seems vibey. You know, she doesn't get much of a chance in the show. We don't see her that much, so uh, she can't be really higher than a B tier. But Brighton, let's go, let's go, Brighton the bro, let's go. Oh my gosh, this guy is so great. I just really liked watching him. He was hilarious. Dude is so goofy and always just like pretty much making fun of everyone. And I kind of love that. His, his face that he makes, you know, you know that weird face that he kept making when he was like, uh, like playing around. He was just causing a bunch of mischief on this show. And it was reasonable mischief, you know, you never got, I never got the feeling that he was a dirt bag really from his mischief. He was just more of the goofy, like sort of class clown you know in a way and i really appreciated that about him ah chris chris yeah um let's see we get more of chris than britain so i'll put him above britain but he, he was extremely dense remember that moment when he was asking about the twins and he was like are they biological or identical twins and everyone just like froze and was like uh what <laughs> But he did seem kind of like a sweet guy. A um, little confusing at times. I don't think whenever he came across as misleading to his couples, the girls like Melinda and Tolu, I felt like he didn't mean to come off that way. I feel like he just kind of, he's a confusing person at times and he's hard to understand. And he doesn't mean that, you know? He might come off as like shady a little bit, but I don't think he meant it. So, so I think he's chill. But yeah, B, B for his density, you know, he, he's he's not super bright. Christine, let's go. Tall, batty Christine. Super cool, super chill. That eye contact, bro, you know, she got Kaz and Nigel's, you know, the eye contact where she like stares into their soul, like, you know you wanna love me. And then, you know, she just, she's cool. She's, yeah. My wife really liked her too. We watched this show together. We watched, we watched most of these shows together um, that I'll be, ranking out of you know other shows that'll be coming up on this channel <laughs> i won't get into that right now there's several people on here probably most people i would like to say just as a little side note before we get into more rankings i just feel like all these people that are on these reality tv shows are at to to some extent a little like I feel like most of these people are not here to actually find love, but they're just reality TV people and they come in and enjoy the fun of the show and getting to know a bunch of hot, pretty people for a week and then they're just like done. Okay, like they're not filming anymore, so what's the point of this? Like I feel like that's most people on this show. So a lot of these people, when I rank them, I'm going to rank them based on like realness, you know, and how genuine of a person they seem to be. But on some level, all of these people are fake because they're on a show like this. Like I'm just gonna, that, that's my opinion here. Dom, okay, Dom in this season, what a nub, dude. What, what a loser. Like 
he was great in the first season. Where's his <laughs> sweetheart? Where's his, you know... He got all jaded, just like Tolu was saying in that one scene, where he just, like, shut down and didn't want to commit to anyone. Like, what's what's your goal here? You literally won the last season because everyone basically loved you for being, like, a sweet dude, as far as we know. Like I said, he might be faking it for the camera, but he was chill, and then he became this, like, douchebag who wanted to just experiment with a bunch of girls and relationships, and, like, well, why are you like this, dude? Um, he's not dog water. Derp is for people who I mostly dislike, but they have just a couple redeeming qualities where they come out on top, and I liked his contrast with Harry, because he's friends with Harry, and when he called Harry out for being fake, that was that was gold. Good job, Dom. Good good job. And sowing the seeds of doubt in Jessica's mind about Harry. Good job. Good job, buddy. But other than that, bro, what are you doing there yourself? Okay, Just stop being a weirdo and being lame. Okay, Dominique. Dominique also became jaded. Uh, I feel like she's fine. She's not in the show that much after the first couple of episodes, however, and relationship with Brighton was very rocky and they just kept arguing and I feel like that was mostly his fault don't get me wrong but the reason I started to not like her was because all these people when they don't have a couple and they started out with a couple always become super like eh, like making up drama just to like I don't know ruin other couples and she started to do that at the end with Chris and again I felt like Chris was not trying to trick people, wasn't trying to manipulate. I feel like he was just, he's just somebody who is very dense and doesn't always see the bigger picture, doesn't always see what other people are thinking and feeling, but he's trying his best. You know what I'm saying? Elise, Elise, she gets the, one of the prettiest awards, in my opinion. She's one of the most attractive people on the show, but, she also becomes jaded. All these jaded people on the show. <laughs> I'm so surprised. What? A reality TV? Jaded people? I didn't know that those things went together. Oh my gosh. But the whole Harry situation, that was all his fault at first. He was a real tool to her. Absolutely. A hundred percent. But he was with a perfect guy after that. Justin. What a Chad. What a awesome fellow. And he just gets thrown by the wayside because he's not macho enough because he's not batty sexy enough and that's why we got bryce right here yeah yeah flexing those biceps uh, uh. and she was like eh. and then went with brighton no wonder but still that's a lame thing for her to do with to justin and she just really didn't care but again it's the name of the game and i think brighton and elise did look good together they were a very attractive good looking couple so you know what Sorry, Justin, you got the boot, but because of that, she gets a B. All right, but yeah. Prettiest on the list award. Oh, uh, Harry. <laughs> dog water, dog water, okay? Dog water. Terrible person. We all know this. We all know this. Bro is like an evil mastermind trying to uproot everyone. Look at his abs. Oh my gosh. He He's not a good person. We all know this. His past relationships, getting 100,000 on OnlyFans for doing who knows what. And uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jessica should have known all along. She should have listened to the girlfriends, you know, because she got her heart hurt. And we got proof at the last episode that he actually did say, oh, what a frick you to Melinda. So he is a dirtbag in all sense of the term, a terrible person. And he comes off all, uh, uh, uh. but I have to say he's like perfect for a show like this. Like I hate to say that because he causes all the drama and all the, you know, the excitement and fun for the show. So I guess that's what we get, you know, and it makes it more exciting. Woohoo. Holly. Holly gets a derp. She gets above Dom because she's not jaded, but, well, I think she's jaded throughout, but she just seems kinda, I don't know, a little out of place. What Christine has in her like seductiveness and allure, Holly is trying to replicate, but she doesn't do it successfully. And she's attractive, but I feel like her looks are a little bit fake, sorry. I mean, I don't mean to be offensive or anything, but like, 
I don't know, like she just doesn't, her, her face is too, I, I like that more, you know, natural beauty, you know? And she doesn't have that, she doesn't give that off. But um, that's not why I'm ranking these people. You know, she never got with anybody, so she was pouty and upset, like, uh, and then the whole thing with Kaz, uh, and then, like, I don't know, she was she was nothing that special. Yeah, and she's hardly in the show, so whatever. Izzy! Above Brighton. <laughs> My man, my, my boy, my boy, my boy, is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just the most gentlemanly of gentlemanly. And he ended up being friend zoned by all the ladies in there, which is okay, but he was a sweetheart and he was there for them nonetheless and he understood and he didn't get butt hurt about anything. He understood his flaws. Like he was really awkward with Micah. He was, why would he go for Micah? I have no idea, but he was very awkward and he owned up to it and he was a good man. Charlie Brown throughout the whole show. He was he was a good man till the very end. He, he was very special. And he was a breath of fresh air in a show like this. Like Izzy comes off as a truly, truly genuine person. And he's the only exception to the rule that everyone is a little bit fake, you know? At the same time though, if you're gonna be on this show, th this is obviously not the place where you're actually gonna find your perfect match and your love interest. And especially since Izzy wants to get married, this is the worst place he could go to find, find that. I mean, I think that's quite obvious. But regard irregardless of that, he he's the best. He's the best. We love Izzy. <laughs> Jake! Bro, what happened to Jake, bro? He gets C tier, anyone who's unimpressionable who I knew nothing about, and they were just kind of there and gone, and like I just didn't know. C tier. The bottom of C tier. Because it's like in between. Like I don't really hate them. He didn't seem that great though. He didn't seem that great. So I'm gonna put him at D. Jessica. She goes in D. Need I say more? Justin, he gets A. He gets top of the A tier, you know? Uh, he didn't scream, the best guy ever, you know? But I always knew that he was a good man, Charlie Brown, just like Izzy, and he seemed like a sweet dude, and he was caring, and not like the other macho men of the house. He did get butt hurt by Elise, which is fair, but also sad. If you're in this show, you're probably going to get butt hurt so why would you get butt hurt if you know that's kind of the name of the game like but uh he still seemed like a very genuine person <sighs> Kaz does he have a redeeming oh yes he does he does have a redeeming quality and that is his accent his British accent yes he has a very sexy voice well, that's about it he's very confusing I agree with Holly I agree with Britain, I agree with Christine, I agree with Micah, who for some reason ended up staying with him. He's he's weird. I don't know. What 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 are you doing? You know, it is the name of the game, absolutely, to go and meet other people. I agreed with him on that. He's not the devil, you know? That's more that's more hairy. But Kaz, he was just like confused. And he came off like almost uncomfortable with Micah, even though he kept saying that they were together. They just didn't fit. There was no chemistry, you know? That's something I would never say, but they didn't have good chemistry, bro. It was like, ugh, you know? Like I didn't like watching them together. Melinda. Melinda. Does she get B tier? No, she, she stays in C above Dominique. She seemed like a fun and Woohoo, person and perfect for the show. I did like her moments of sass and going against Harry because she was telling the truth the whole time and Harry was being super shady and good on her for that, for helping Jessica get out of there even though Jessica didn't listen. And I don't think the whole thing with Chris was warranted. Again, I feel like all the shade getting thrown at him wasn't really fair, you know, cause he, he did it in a more much more graceful way than Kaz, I thought, shifting between different women. I thought he did better, and he was sweet to Tolu and committed to Tolu at the end, and I think that was fine. But Melinda was a firecracker, and she was fun, so, you know, she gets she gets 50% for that. But the other 50%, it's a little bit, little bit too much at times. And Micah. No, you know, you guys stay together. Why, why don't you stay together? Kaz and Micah, best couple. I love how they kept saying that too, as if it would Q 
hear their terrible relationship. Lol, I'm so savage. Yeah, she, she's not great, and she is shy, which is fine, but it just didn't match with Kaz's energy. I don't know, do I need to say that much, you know? Like, it was clear that their chemistry was terrible, all right? And that's the main reason we didn't like them. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So when she kept getting on Kaz, before he made his stance known that he was just going around floating to woman to woman, when he kept insisting that all he was doing was talking to other women and getting to know them and not dating them, and she kept getting on him and like being butthurt and sad, like, <laughs> and the whole line where he says, you know, you're, you're my type to a T, but Holly is a type. Huh? That was like the dumbest line ever. Oh my gosh, so funny. So funny, he's just skyrocketing down below on the D tier. But just that whole, they're, all their conversations were so petty and silly and like, wh why are you guys still together? Like, come on, bro. Nigel, we don't get to see a lot of screen time from him. So I'll put him at the bottom of the B tier, pretty eye. I thought he was cool and out of all the bros here, yeah, yeah, he's he, he gets the hotness award. He, he. Nigel, mm, let's go, dude. Honestly, there's nothing that wrong with him except he didn't get enough screen time. We didn't get a chance to really see a bad side from him. And I do think that him and Christine match very well together. I think they do look like a great couple. I just thought it was weird that they won simply because they were only a couple at the very last night. That was strange to me. I'm saying a lot of good things about my boy Ni Nigel, and because he is, gets the hotness award for the guys, I think I'm gonna put him at the top of the B tier. Get upgraded, bro. Let's go, Steven. My boy. He gets to stay with... No, I like Steven better than Justin. I'm sorry. Steven was cool, man. Steven was cool. He's got that MGK look to him, you know? <laughs> he did it when he walked in. His height, his blonde hair, and all the tattoos. I'm sorry, it looks like MGK. But he's a super chill dude, and I thought he was hilarious. His one-liners when he was like just talking to the camera. Love him, love him. And committed. We love committed relationships over here. They looked like marriage material, and they probably didn't get married because, again, this is reality TV, and they're on Perfect Match, so none of these couples probably stayed together. But they were cool, and they were the perfect match in my heart. The people's champion. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool guy. I liked him a lot. Tolu! Tolu, Tolu, Tolu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the first couplet in the S tier. Izzy and Tolu, look at that. Tolu is awesome. We love Tolu. Do I need to explain? She just seemed like a very genuine person. Her best part is just her character and her energy throughout the show. She was a lot of fun. She was a genuine friend to the other ladies in the house. Tried to stay on everyone's good side. Got absolutely jaded by Dom. Get out of here, Dom. Okay, loser. And good on Chris for staying committed to her because she very much valued that. She valued loyalty. Like if I if I met this person out in the real world, you know, she would be like, she'd be a vibe, dude. She'd be like, just hang out, you know? She seems awesome. So we really like her. Trevor, where was this guy? I don't know nothing about this guy. I, I have a feeling I want to put him in D tier, though, because, like, like, where was you, bro? Like, wh where was you, okay? And I love how in the picture here, we don't even see his eyes. <laughs> he's too big, man. He, he's he's big, beefy man, you know? We, we can't fit him in the picture. All right, and Xanthi, neck and neck with Elise on the prettiest award in the house. I'm just saying. Xanthi was super cool. She said that one line. She said, none of these guys are worth it or something. I'm paraphrasing. None of these guys are good for me. None of these guys are good for us ladies. And you know, I was like, amen. You know, they're on this show. They're pretty, probably terrible. So yeah, Xanthi was awesome. She wasn't, I wish she got, we got more time with her, but she didn't get a couple. So she had to leave the house for a while, but I always thought she was one of the chillest people. A lot like Tolu, very vibey person to hang with. 
and yeah, she seemed a little bit more genuine. All right, let's go. This is my tier list, broski. We got four S's, four A's, four B's, very few C's. <laughs> we have the most D's out of any. <laughs> uh, the most D, the most D's. And then we got F for Harry. So yeah, this is a great tier list. Uh, leave in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Let's have a discussion. Who do you think was the best? uh cast member from the show who do you think was the worst who do you think was the actual perfect match let me know in the comments bro and i will see you all in the next video we're gonna be making a lot of tier lists here stay tuned i hope you have a wonderful day and i already said i'll see you in the next video <laughs> Bye bye